Hello everyone and welcome to Blank Beauty. I'm Jennifer. What we're doing today, today is Anything Goes Monday, so we are doing a Elf Hits or Misses as well as Wish List today. Now, Black Friday is right around the corner um, in just a few days, so I thought I'd share my Elf Hits and Misses with you to let you know what I think is worth purchasing during that time, lifting up the lid on my little storage thing here. And, you know, I'll also share some of the items that I'm thinking of picking up or would like to pick up in the future if I can. So, we're going to start with the... Why don't we start with a hit list? <laughs> the best of the best. Now, I've got quite a bit here that are hits. This is the Elf Blush and Bronzer Duo. This is the original one they came out with in St. Lucia. You know, that's the one that's been around the longest. It's got a blush here. That I, and I've heard this uh, compared to a dupe for the NARS Blush and Bronzer Duo in Orgasm. And uh, I can't think of what the bronzer name is. But, you know, I've heard this compared to that. So I highly recommend this palette. Looks like that right there. But these right here are the little four pan things here. One is the illuminating palette, and then I have the contour palettes as well. Or contour palette, not palettes. But this right here is the contour. And whenever I got this, they did not have multiple shades, but they do now. They have a light, medium, and then I think a medium deep. I know that they have a light and a dark now. And then this is the highlight palette right here. I used to own the blush palettes, one of the blush palettes as well, and that is on my wish list to pick up again, because I used to love the blush palette in light. But, you know, and as I go through, if I do have something on my wish list that I like or want, I'll mention that as well while I'm going through these. Now, this is my Elf Mist and Set right here. This is a decent face setting spray, you know. Now, I've heard this compared to Mac Fix Plus, if you use Max Fix Plus or have heard of Max Fix Plus. So, I like this. Um, I do want to try some of their new setting sprays, like they have a matte setting spray now. <laughs> so, I do want to try that. Um, now, I'm going to go on to, like, the foundations. I've got two different shades of the Flawless Finish Foundation. This is on my middle of the road list because because I do have to mix two shades because they don't quite match me one of these two. You know, that is a bad thing for me. If I can't just grab a foundation and throw it on and go, it drives me nuts. So, these right here, they're not a bad finish. They're not bad wear time necessarily. If y'all want to see a like wear test using this, let me know. I'm happy to do that. But that's the ELF Flawless Finish Foundation. And these, that's one issue I do have with ELF on their products is they don't put the actual name of the product on the jar or whatever necessarily where it's easily readable. Like even the um, contouring and blush palettes or contouring and highlighting palettes, it's on the back, you know, but it's fairly small print. So, now I'm going to go on to some of the eye products here. Now, y'all have seen me use the little liners like this. It is the, on their website, they call it a cream liner. This is the one in black. I have the one in black and brown. I think they call it coffee on their site. It's even labeled coffee on here. So I have black and coffee. Now the coffee is a little drier because I've used it quite a bit more. The more you open these up, the longer or the faster they dry out in my book. So, but I still like both of those. That's a definite hit for me. And then I have some of these little, like I said, they don't have on here what they are. I think these are the Flawless Eyeshadow Palettes right here. You know, um, this is the one in Happy Hour. 
I do believe. Yeah, this is happy hour. That's what I have on my eyes right now. I tried to fix my lighting to where everything isn't as bleached out as it has been lately. So if that's any better, let me know. And then this one here is in Golden Goddess. This is a good one too. Real pretty coppery shade and golden colors and a deep brown. You know, this is, I'd say, my favorite one out of these palettes that I've tried. You know, and these are only two bucks, usually. Um, the most expensive thing I've talked about, well, the cheapest things I've talked about, were the eyeliners, three bucks. Then that uh, blush and bronzer duo was three bucks. Everything else so far has been six bucks normally. This is a hit. Well, somewhat hit, at least. This is the e.l.f. primer, eyelid primer. Now, this here, you have to be fairly careful with it. In my book, it shears out completely. Uh, this is the one in sheer, I believe. Yes, this is in sheer. It does sheer out, but you don't want to go overboard with this. Otherwise, it will ball up, or it does on me. And it can get very oily, too. If you go overboard so it's kind of a you got to know how to use it or lose it one of the two so you know and that's a two dollar item it used to be a dollar I think it's two dollar now and then I've got the elf I wish that they had the names on here this just says elf brow pencil uh, this is one in taupe, but that is a good brow product. It, even Emily Noel uh, likes that as well, from what I have seen. And then this is the e.l.f. Waterproof Eyeliner. This is another middle-of-the-road product, really, but I do enjoy using it sometimes. This is the Waterproof Eyeliner, and it's not the deepest, darkest black, you know... But it still is a good liner. And this is a, one of their cheaper items, too. This is either a dollar or two dollars. And it's great for a beginner if you don't know how to do liner. You know. Because it just gets you used to it. There we go. I did a better swatch. See, it's not the darkest black. But if you want a more soft black, that's what I would call this. A soft black. Almost charcoal gray color. And then this is the Aqua Minerals Molten Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in Rose Gold. I've used this before, I believe, in videos. And I, believe it or not, I actually like using this as a base for almost any rose gold eyeshadow. Or even the look I did today, I used this as my base instead of an actual primer. So... That's a good item. And then here's another eye product, technically. But, you know, I use it as a highlight more than an eye product. This is the e.l.f. Baked Shadow in Enchanted. Right there. I recently talked about this in my favorites video that I did yesterday. And then this is the... I've got all my stuff in a box over here. This is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Enchanted, or not Enchanted, Moonlight Pearl. It's just a white color highlight. Now that's what I used as my highlight today. So, you know, I've got Swatch City going on on my hand here. Now, we're going to move on to, like lips and everything here in a second too but this is the mad for matte palette i don't want to blind you uh that right there is the mad for matte palette this is another middle of the road palette for me because to me the colors are so close together you know they can they work in harmony very well together but there's nothing to get excited about in my opinion in this palette now, I would like to try the Summer Breeze one because it has more rosy, like peachy tones from what I can tell than this does. And then I've got some of these. Now we're moving on to the actual lip products here. 
Now they have the Elf Kiss Bombs. They don't have these sold individually from what I can tell on their website. But they do have a trio of three of them. I don't believe you get this red one, but these are pretty good lip balms. You can sometimes find these at the Dollar Tree, too. But they're a decent balm. They are rather waxy feeling. That's I have this uh, Bear Kiss one on my lips right now. You know, so they are somewhat pigmented. They're not overly pigmented, but they are pigmented enough. And then... But they can skip due to their waxy texture. I just did a little swatch right there, and you can tell it's not straight on color. But it's still a decent little balm. You know, it gives your lips a little bit of a slip to it. Sometimes I'll do this as a lip primer. I'll put this on, let it sit while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. Blot it off, then put on another lip product. I typically will do that... If I'm wanting to use one of my uh, e.l.f. matte lipsticks. I have three shades here. Now these are a great, great product. I highly recommend these. Oh, and the uh, eye palette normally is, I think, $10. Um, and then these balms are usually 2 bucks, Unless you find them at the Dollar Tree. And then these matte... Uh, Pencils are typically about three bucks, but they do have these in a set right now as well. Not necessarily these colors, but, you know, um, I'm trying to figure out the names of these. This is Wine, Rich Red, and Berry Sorbet. Now, I recently bought the Wine and Sorbet, well, not recently, but a while back, I bought these locally at Walmart. So, they've got what I call the old packaging, or the new packaging, because it's just your typical ELF logo, no other, you know, writing telling you what it is. Now, the old packaging has the ELF matte lip color right there. So, you know, if you want a good matte lipstick that's not a liquid, I suggest picking these up. What I love about these especially... Even if I'm wanting to top it with a liquid lip, you know, I can. These have a sharpener built into them right there. You know, they have a sharpener to where you can easily get that point back and you can sharpen up the pencil. Because to me, that's important. I mean, I have two of these e.l.f. lip lacquers. This one is in... Burgundy, and this one is in bold pink. Now, these are great products, too, to top off a lip color or even a standalone, but the staying power is not great with these. The staying power for those others, the $3 matte ones, are pretty good, and you can sometimes find the matte ones or these uh, lip lacquers as well at the Dollar Tree, too. But these are normally about $2, the lip lacquers, and the matte lipsticks are usually about 3 bucks. Now, I'm hoping to be able to try some of the matte liquid lipsticks that they have. You know, hopefully. And then, now we're going to jump into tools here. I've got the e.l.f. eyelash curler. i got to clean my pad and everything. That's what that looks like. These are... About two dollars. I've had, I've got two of them because I love keeping an eyelash curler on hand. So these are about two bucks and they actually work pretty good. So I highly recommend those if you, you know, want to try an eyelash curler or you need an eyelash curler. It never hurts in my book to have a backup of those. So that's why I keep two on hand. Um, now we've got some tools here. That I'm going to go into. Um, now this here is the e.l.f. powder brush. It's the flat top brush. To me, I've got two different brushes here. One is, well some of these are clean, some are not. This is the e.l.f. complexion brush. To me, they ought to switch the names of these because this, this brush here that's flat top 
it would be better for complexion buffing. And then this fluffy brush that they do call the complexion brush would be better for powder. So, but these are good brushes. Don't let the names fool you on them. Then we've also got the small tapered brush right here. Now, I've had some of these brushes for quite a while, so they might have changed it up a little bit. I'm hoping not, but this right here is the small tapered brush. Now, this is great for setting under eye. This is good for doing highlight, you know, going down the nose, because it is does come to a little point up here at the top. You know, it's not a harsh point, but it still, you know, comes to a taper at the top. So, that's a really good brush. Now, this is the e.l.f. Contour Brush. Unfortunately, they don't have the name on this. e.l.f. needs to put names on things. But this is their contour brush. It's flat up at the top. Let me show you. See if I can show you. That's what it looks like on the top. Mine's a little dirty. But, you know, this is great for doing a chiseled contour, for buffing it out, you know, all sorts of things. I love this brush, and I'm planning on comparing this one to a Maybelline one soon. And then this right here is another major favorite. Oh, and all these black-handled brushes, unless they've changed the price on them so far, usually the black-handled ones that I've got here, at least, were three bucks because this is what they considered their studio line back in the day. And then this here is the angled liner brush. It's the bent angled liner brush is what I consider it, because they do actually have liner brushes that are angled, I believe now. But that's what it looks like, and that's how small that tip is. I love using that for liner. I love using it with my gel liner that I have. You know, if you're a beginner to eyeliner, I highly recommend this. This is one of the first items I started using, and I can't live without this. And then I've got several of the um, other, well, not several, but a few of the other white brushes. This is what they consider their essential line. Now, a couple of these, I believe, are the same exact brush, but that's okay. Now, this one here, I've had it for so long, I've completely worn off whatever was on there. But I believe it's the contour brush, and they have re-released this a while back, so I don't know if this is the same exact thing anymore, but this is the Essential Contour Brush. And I think this is a $2 brush right here. And then I have the... Well, this does not have the name on it. Urgh! But it looks like that right there. I typically will use this one. Let me see. Uh, just looking to see if any of these other brushes were the same exact thing as that. Uh, but typically I'll use this like in the crease. You know. But. Then I have the. This one doesn't have it. I might have worn away. Oh, here we go. This is the e.l.f. Blending Eye Brush. Now, this is great for blending out shadows in the crease. It's good for even getting on the edges, you know, of an eye look and blending them in a little bit. So, and these white ones are like two bucks, I believe. And then this is the actual eye crease brush right here. Now, it looks kind of like the first one I showed you of these. But, you know, I can't tell you for sure that they're, yeah, I think these are the same exact thing. But that's just one is the no-name packaging. But this is what that looks like. Now, I mean, that is a good crease brush, like I said. And then I have two actual shadow brushes. One is clean and one is not. So I'll show you one of them. Now, it's a flat top brush, as in, well, I don't mean flat top, but it's a flat shadow brush, which is great for packing on shadow to the lid. Now, they do have other brushes like this that I'm hoping to pick up, but, you know, those are some items that I highly recommend. And then I have some other things that I don't own anymore, but, 
Um, like, I have the, I used to own the long-lasting lustrous eyeshadow. I'm looking at my old phone here before it dies on me. Um, the long-lasting lustrous eyeshadow, that's a great shadow if you like a lot of shimmer. Because those are very, very shimmery. The e.l.f. has a moisturizing lipstick. And I believe that's 3 or $4. I'm not sure. It used to be, back whenever I tried it, it was part of their what they called their mineral line. Because back whenever I got into e.l.f., they had your essential, studio, and mineral. They didn't have all this uh, active stuff and beautifully bare and all that. But... The Moisturizing Lipstick, it's in a black packaging. That is a great lipstick. Very moisturizing. Then their Essential Lipsticks are great, too. Now, I thought I had it out. Oh, I do. Right here. This is their Lip Exfoliator. This is great for sloughing off dead skin. And then... I have used the Under Eye Setting Powder before. And that is great for setting um, concealer under the eye and helping to brighten it a little bit. That's one thing that I do have on a shopping list to pick up. As well as the HD powder. You know, that's a powder that is great for setting foundation or whatever. Um, I recently emptied mine a while back and I want to pick up another one of those. But the HD powder is, I believe, three bucks and then the or the under eye powder is three bucks, and then the actual powder is six bucks. I mean, that's a little pricey in my book. So, then they're, they have a, like I said, their blush palettes, pretty much all their palettes that are the four pan form, you know, are probably good. And what I love about them so much is that you can pop them out and customize your own palette that way. So, you know, it is a great thing to have, so... That is on my wish list as well, or shopping list, rather. And then they have some Studio $3 blushes. And those $3 brush blushes are pretty good. They can be hit and miss. I don't own any of them anymore, but, you know, they can be pretty good. And that's all the stuff that I don't have, pretty much. So now we're going to jump on in here to Misses. You know, I don't have a whole lot of misses in here, at least. <laughs> because if they were flops, most of the time I've gotten rid of them or passed them on to somebody else or whatever the case may be. Um, this does not have the name on it, but I believe I've looked it up before and seen that it's the Lengthening and Defining Mascara. Elf doesn't do very well with mascaras unless it is their clear um, brow and lash mascara. Now that's what the wand looks like on it. It just doesn't do anything for my lashes. This one doesn't. The lengthening and defining mascara. Um, then this here is the e.l.f. I looked it up. It's supposed to be the under eye concealer and highlighter. There's no coverage to it. You know, I'm going to take it and show you. This is, uh, in the shade medium, by the way. I'm going to Put a little bit on the back of my hand here. Okay, that's just putting it directly on. Now I'm going to show you that it doesn't really cover. You know, I'm just trying to cover up some of that charcoal liner. Or black liner is what it's supposed to be. But, you know, you can tell it's not completely covering it. That liner is still peeking through. And it does the same thing on the under eye. It does not cover for me. And then the other side is, like, white. Well, I think it's a pinky white, but still. The only thing I can see this thing is good for is maybe adding some sparkle to the lips. Or adding a little, you know, sparkle to the lid. That's what it looks like blended out a little bit. Well, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like fresh, too. Like I said, I've got lots of swatches on my hand here that you've seen me do, so I apologize if that's distracting, but that's what it looks like straight out of the tube, basically. So, 
you know, I am not a fan of that at all. So, I can't recommend picking up either one of these items. And then I've got a list of other items that I just absolutely couldn't stand. And I mean, if I didn't like them, I got rid of them as ASAP. Um, let's see here. They have a complete coverage concealer that it's a little palette that has like four different, four or five different shades to it. Too greasy feeling, and there's no coverage to it. Um, the Essential Lip Stain. Now that is not a bad stain, but if you want to buy that, it's another $2 product actually. If you wanted to buy that, I would highly recommend using something else over it. Because it is rather drying. It's one of the early lip stains that I ever tried. But it does work. And, but they do dry out pretty quick. So that's one thing to be aware of too. But they're only like two bucks. So you're not losing a whole lot there. Now, I have used the translucent uh, mattifying powder before. But for people with vision impairment or people that are new to makeup, that can get rather cakey looking because that is a powder that can go really cakey really fast. So that's more of a middle of the road product than a miss, but it leans more on the miss side because to me it doesn't even keep me matte personally. So, and then the mineral pearls, I've tried those before. They didn't do anything for me at all. Just made a mess everywhere. I stay away from those. Um, then the Perfect Blend Concealer. That's the little two dollar one. Number one, they don't have hardly any shades in that. And number two, again, no coverage. But, you know, oh, and their uh, bronzers, the little ones that have like four different colors to them. Those are too shimmery. Whenever I want a bronzer, I don't want shimmer to my bronzer. Like the um, contour palette that I showed you, you know, there's not hardly any shimmer, if anything, to that. those. And then the e.l.f. duo that I showed you, there's nothing, no shimmer to those either. Now, I'm not going to discuss all this wish list, but, you know, there's several things that I want to pick up that you know, as I can. I mean, it's a fairly long list, but I'm just going to mention a few of the top things in each category. Eyeshadow. I want to try the No Budge Eyeshadow Stick. Um, and then, whenever I first got into ELF, they had these huge palettes, and they recently re-released one of their palettes that they had, a couple of them, I think. The Endless Eyes 100 Color Palette is what it's called. Now, I think that would be neat to try it out, and, you know, there's a lot of different colors to it, and I think it was only 10, 15 bucks at most, I think. So, and then another palette that I would love to try is the Rose Gold Eyeshadow. I love Rose Gold, in general. So, but that's not a must-have for me, you know. Um, like I have talked about, I've got you've seen that I have several items. Some of these items I would just like to have. Other ones, I'm wanting to do a full face of e.l.f. pretty soon. You know, once I can get this stuff ordered and on its way to me and try it out and everything, I plan on doing a full face of e.l.f. Then the liner, I thought it would be nice to try the liner, or shadow and liner duo. And then they have a waterproof gel eyeliner pencil. And then they have a Workout Ready Eyeliner Pencil and a Brightening Eyeliner. I'm definitely picking up that Brightening Eyeliner. I think it's only a $2 item. So, then they have Sweat Resistant Mascara and Brow Duo. Now, one thing I didn't mention that I do love is the clear... Well, I did mention it in passing, but it's the Clear Brow Gel and Mascara Duo. I like that for setting my eyebrows. So I highly recommend that. And then, um, it would be nice to try the sweat-resistant mascara and brow duo. 
so. And I'm picking up another one of the clear brow and lash mascaras, because those are good to have on hand with, you know, because I don't use the mascara side, I use both of them on my brows, so. Then I'd love to try the Winged and Bold Luxe Lash Kit. Now, I do have some lashes from e.l.f., but my being fairly new to lashes, they don't work very well. So, maybe the Lux kit would make a difference. They have another brow pencil besides the one that I showed you that I do have right here. They have a ultra-precise brow pencil, and that is a, it's a black packaging so I'm wanting to get that and compare the two. I think it's double the price, though, so it might be a finer tip, which be which would be very nice. And then they have the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. I want to get that because, you know, I like a good brow pomade. Now, my, um, I can't, Salon Perfect or something like that, one I have is good. But it's starting to dry out. I've had it for so long. So it's really starting to dry out on me. So I love to have a good pomade for whenever I do want to go for a more bold brow. I have on here also that I want to pick up a couple of the primers. I have tried the... Uh, I didn't write this down. It's a tone adjusting primer. The e.l.f. Mineral foundation, or mineral, yeah, mineral foundation primer in the tone adjusting, the green looking one. That's a good one. I want to try the hydrating under eye primer. So, and then I also want to try the, but they also have a primer mattifying spray. Now we'll just move on to lips. They have a day to night duo that I've seen other YouTubers and people wear that I think would be awesome for doing an ombre type lip. So that would be real pretty. Then I don't really have a lot of liners as I've shown in my collection video. So I'm wanting to pick up another liner that's actually like a nude liner. So they have on the lock on lip primer as well. And then they have, well, the lip liner I put down, I have two of them here. One is the, um, no, I guess I don't, Lip and Cheek Duo Stick. Yeah, Lip Liner and Blending Brush. That's the second one that I have here. So, and then they also have a Kiss It Goodbye Lip Color Remover, which would be nice for whenever I'm doing the liquid lipsticks, because those... I have trouble getting off, even with coconut oil, Vaseline, you know, so. But, then they have some shimmer high, shimmer highlighting stuff for the face. I just kind of went through each category and picked out a few items. You know, I don't have a whole lot in the rest of this thing, but the shimmer highlighting stick and then the Shimmer Highlighting Powder. I've seen great things about those, and I'd love to pick some of that up. As well as they have a newer $2 highlighter that I want to get. And then they have, for powders, they have Correct and Set Under Eye Powder, which would I, I think would be great to try that and see if it maybe takes the place of using a heavier-duty concealer or an under-eye correcting concealer. And then they also do have the... Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. That's a $2 powder. So I'm wanting to try that and see if it is any good, honestly. The actual concealers, they have the Color Correcting Stick, which would be nice to try that compared to the pots that I have. You know, like the NYX Dark Circle and Dry stuff. And then they have the Beautifully Bare Lightweight Concealer Stick. The HD Lifting Concealer, which I've never tried. And the Maximum Coverage Concealer. You know, the concealers I've talked about basically are the only ones I've ever tried. So I wanted to try some different ones from there. Then they have a new $2 blush, a new $2 bronzer. 
that they say is matte, so I want to get both of those for sure. And then I want to pick up the cream contour palette as well. I've never tried doing a lot of cream products like that. And then the makeup mist and set that I talked about is the matte magic mist and set. Now I do want to pick up some brushes too and any of the skincare stuff. I don't own any of the skincare at all. I never tried it. So, you know, but there's quite a bit on e.l.f. that I would like to pick up. Let me know out of all this stuff that I've talked about or whatever or what you know about e.l.f. What you enjoy and what you want to pick up on Black Friday. Because I believe they're starting it day after Thanksgiving. You know, I believe it's day after Thanksgiving they're starting it. And it's going to run through Monday. So, you know. But let me know what y'all, y'all's essentials are from e.l.f. And let me know if you want to see a full face e.l.f. after I am able to get all the products, you know, in and really formulate opinions on them. So, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and for being here today. And please, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I do have some great videos coming up. Thursday, I have a makeup look coming that I'm going to be using a Koki eyeshadow palette. Then Friday is going to be a pamper routine. Saturday, most likely, I'm going to review the some of the stuff from BH Cosmetics. I've got a foundation and a couple little palettes. So I plan on doing a review of their BH Cosmetics. You know, I don't have a whole lot from them, but, you know... What I do have, I'd like to review and show you and talk about them a little bit. So, do that Saturday. And then Sunday, I believe I'm going to do my November Superstars thing. So, I hope you stay tuned for that. But, so I hope that you hit that subscribe button and follow me. I will leave links to all my social media as well as my WordPress blog. To where you can go on there and there's a What's Happening area where you can, or what's coming up area rather, that you can click on to see what is coming up and, you know, all that. So, you know what to expect and when to expect it. So, it's not set in stone, but that's at least what's going on right now. So, and please follow me and also subscribe and turn on that little notification bell. And if you do that, then whenever I upload, you'll be notified right away. Thanks again for watching, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.